You're a newspaper like me, so you can point your f***ing fingers and say, that's, that's the bad, 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 bad. What's going on, everybody? I'm glad you came in to stop by. A little quick discussion I want to have with you guys, a little commentary. Um, I want to know, um, this is about the whole next gen, last gen resolution issue that's going on with Xbox and PS4. Um, somebody got to ask the question, and the question should be answered or addressed. Now, I know um, Xbox has Direct X12 coming, and uh, PlayStation 4 has all of this uh, special RAM in it. That makes it uh so that makes it supposedly more official than um Xbox as far as hardware is concerned. But the question gotta be asked: If both of these consoles are 4K ready, and they're supposed to be 10-year proof, stepping into the future of resolutions, are we already at our limits? Did we reach our limits with Xbox One, and did we reach our limits with uh PS4? Because as you see, developers are being faced with the hard question of. 1080 resolution with 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and under 1080 resolution. Now, no matter what they say or what they do, it feels like a step back because we achieved 1080 on the last gen console. So with that being said, if we achieved 1080 on Xbox 360 and PS4 and we had 1080 on PC for 10 years now, what are we doing? Are we going backwards or going forward? So I want to know how you guys feel about it. I mean. Who do we got to ask this question to? When do we get 1080 60 frames per second? Developers already saying that they have to make a choice between 60 frames per second and 1080 resolution and they'd rather have you have a better experience so they sacrifice the resolution. And I'm sitting here wondering to myself, how do we get to a point with new consoles that we already reached our limit? I don't see how we can reach 4K if this is happening now. I mean, there's going to be an excuse to develop this need time to develop the right essentials to make this stuff work properly but it's not feeling correct i mean i don't understand how we go from 1080 back to 720 i mean 792 what the fuck is that i don't know i want to know how you guys feel about it do you think that this is just a fluke or are, are we going to be looking at new consoles in five years because that's what it looks like i went online to um order some new stuff on my computer and i see like i said they have 8k resolution already and these consoles are supposed to be able to go up to 4k they're already obsolete. They are, pardon me, they're already obsolete already. So, how do you guys feel? Do you feel like Xbox One and PS4 is already at its hardware limitations? Do you feel like it could last 10 years? Because the claim is that these systems are supposed to last 10 years. PlayStation 4 already said that the life cycle of a PS4 is not gonna last you 10 years. But the console itself is supposed to last for the next 10 years. So we're supposed to be playing this thing until 2024. That's what they claim. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. Computers already have 16 gigs, 32 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of RAM. I saw a computer that was hyper-threaded to 48 cores. I've seen a lot of crazy things in the hardware field. So, I mean, I'm starting to think that the way things are heading, this is going to be the last console people buy before they start buying computers. Even if Sony comes out with a new system, Microsoft comes out with a new system, I feel like it's going to be something that you can open up and upgrade. I don't think they're going to be able to survive like this. So. Am I crazy? If so, let me know. If you think that these systems are going to last you 10 years, let me know. I'm going to go with 5 years before they start making a new one. You see the Nintendo Wii already has a new system getting ready to come out. I think that this is going to be the new trend. I think we're going to be buying consoles every 5 years, guys. So I really want to know what you guys think about this and how you feel. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit me back. This is Jimmy, and I'll be gaming. And for the record, real fast, um... I'm going to start switching the PC for multi-platform games because I don't like what's going on. Until they get their shit together, that's where I'm going to be at. When a game comes out for both systems, I'm playing it on PC. If it's a console exclusive, then I'll play it on that console. Like I did with Titanfall. I could have got it for PC, but I got it for Xbox One. Because it was supposed to be an Xbox One exclusive. Now, that's where I'm heading with that in the future because I'm not digging this. Uh, Watch Dogs is going to be 1440p on PC and it's going to be 792 on Xbox and 900 on PS4. Nah, nah, I'm getting off that rodeo, guys. That's on you guys if you want to stay there. Uh, like I said, this is Jimmy and I'll be gaming. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to ride it out? Do you think it's going to get better? Or are you switching to PC? Or do you think these consoles are going to last soon? Yet? I'm going to give it five. If you agree with that, also let me know. I'm, I'm going to give it five years. I say by 
what 2014 so I say about 2019 we'll be looking at a uh, Xbox 1.1 or 1.2 or whatever they're gonna call it PS5 or whatever the new translation is gonna be this is Jimmy and I begin and I'm out